I've gotten much better at regular manuals through pure sweat and repetition. Those manuals, on the other hand, have remained a mystery to me until literally one day. One day I could do them twice as long as the day before. And it wasn't an accident. It was a pressure point on both my foot and the board. You see, in January, I went to Arizona for the Tucson Thunderdome Freestyle Contest. And at one point, my friends Maria Mendoza, Mike Osterman, and Jack Lauer were all in the car, and Jack and I were talking about G-turns. Which I totally cannot do, but Jack is really starting to kill. And Mike turns around in the front seat, totally excited, because freestyle, and asks us if he could make a comment. Which we were all ears, of course. And he asked Jack specifically, when you do the G-turn, are you putting the pressure in the ball of your front foot or on your toes? And I had this sudden moment of mental clarity. And I asked Mike, is it because it'll affect how you pinch the trucks? Because if you think about it, where you're pressing on your foot in relation to your foot positioning will affect the trucks differently. And Mike and I got really excited and it was tech talk and we were having a phenomenal time. But at the time, I actually didn't think about it again because we were talking about G-turns. But I did come home and I was doing what I normally do, which is a day that I can't go outside. I'll just be in here, literally in this spot, and do carpet manuals for a little while just to work on my balance and those muscles. And I suddenly had a thought while once again struggling with my nose manual about what Mike had said about putting the pressure on the ball of your foot. And up until this point, I had never really thought about where I was putting the pressure in my foot when doing a nose manual or a regular manual. But I challenged myself to try it, to just put all the pressure into the ball of my foot when doing the nose manual. And it was actually really weird because at first I couldn't do it. It was very, very obvious that I was using the side of my foot and not the ball of my foot to do the manual once I started recognizing what I was doing. And it was difficult to get onto the ball of my foot. I actually had to lift my toes up to make sure I was pushing into the board with the ball of my foot. And the results are wild, but I want to illustrate this one more time with a little shoe insole. So the way I was doing manuals before, I would put my foot on the board, I would tilt it in slightly, this is how I do my nose manual, and keep my foot pretty close to the bolts, around here, I would say. So I would push the board down, and then after that, my weight would typically roll onto the side of my foot and a little bit of like my smaller toes, and instead of pushing down, I'd kind of be pushing down and forwards and rolling this way, putting all the pressure around here. Now, once I pushed down with the ball of my foot from the same exact position, I was able to push down a lot more. And if you look at this, this is a pretty sizable difference to be pushing in relation to where the trucks are. So you're a lot closer to the truck, you can push down, I feel like relatively harder and still stay in control. And I had a sudden increase of control over my manual just by switching the pressure point from like this down outward motion on the side of my foot to a straight down pressure point with the ball of my foot. And it made a really big difference switching between those two for me. And it makes sense because pushing through my toes in this direction versus pushing down through the ball of my foot in this direction are bound to work slightly differently. And my center of balance was both closer to the truck and my body weight. I could push down harder with reduced risk of pushing my nose into the ground as well. All because I adjusted where I was applying force to the nose in relation to the trucks. So after that moment of clarity and then the really fast results that followed, I started to apply this to both my nose manual and my regular manual, where I was really trying to take the ball of my foot as my pressure point and push down rather than pushing down and allowing my weight to roll over onto the side of my foot. So that's really what I wanna leave you with today. When you're working on your manual and if you're struggling with it, nose or regular, really think about not just where your foot is, where of course where your foot is will affect how and where you push down on the trucks, but then think about where you're putting your weight into that foot. Are you pushing down on the center of your toes? Are you pushing on your big toes? 
Are you leaning just really heel heavy and only putting your weight on the heel? And just start experimenting there and see if something can help because this was a massive improvement for me and I wanted to share it right away. And while this might not be the perfect fix to your manuals, or while you still have to put in the hundreds of hours of hard work to get a good manual, regardless, I do hope that something in here can help you or give you some food for thought. And I really just wanted to share this quickly because it made a huge difference, night and day.